Good morning everyone and welcome back. So one of the very good news that we have today is Thailand has officially announced the rules for the ICO investing. Not only for the ICO investors but also for the people, for the companies who are looking to do an ICO. There are certain rules and regulations that they have to follow. I have to say this that I actually went through all the rules and regulations that they have put across and it turns out to me that with this the number of ICO scams can be reduced heavily. I mean heavily when I say that almost by 90 to 95% of the ICO scams can be reduced. And that is why it's important. And the other reason why it's important is that we have we know the fact that a lot of countries still do not do not have a defined law and rules for the ICO investing or for the ICO uh, funds raising, right? Including USA. In other countries so this could be also a, some of the ground rules that they want to look at when they want to regulate cryptocurrency investing ICO investing so we'll talk about that we'll also talk about one of the journalists called John Crudel he he is a very famous columnist for New York Post one of the very famous magazine in New York and he recently wrote that why Bitcoin may be soon worth zero and there are people who are saying that the who are actually predicting Bitcoin to be zero will never be taken seriously anymore because it's quite clear that they don't understand the technology. Similar thing to what yesterday we saw the Charles Hoskinson, the tweet, uh, the Cartano creator when he said that, you know, India's leader needs to get educated on, on what this technology is instead of throwing it off just like that. So let's start with this uh, Thailand uh, rules for the ICO investing. So what exactly they have? The first thing that they came out is, uh, so this is coming from the Thai Security and Exchange Commission, SEC, has officially announced that its regulations for the initial coin offering. The rules specify requirement for the ICO portals, issuers, as well as the people who can invest into the tokens. So the first thing that, and this is all gonna be effective from the 16th of July. That's about uh, 10 days from now, you will have an ICO defined law in Thailand. One of the important things that they actually they also came up with that along with the law they have also come up with the infographics. So as you can see, these are some pictures here. Infographics is which makes easier for anyone to understand what exactly these rules are. So the number one, number two, number three, number four, and this is including investors and the people or the companies who are doing that do, going to do an ICO. And of course, you can see that this is not this is not in English. This is in their local language. So the first thing that anyone who wants to do an ICO there, they have to go through something called as ICO portal. So those wanting to launch an ICO must undergo screening from an ICO portal. So on the ICO portals, the ICO will go through certain checks. Checks like to ensure that there is a computer code, there is a source code, and the source code matches the disclosed information in the white paper. Right, so basically it's going to be a thorough check by the regulators itself before the ICO is presented to the general public for investing. As you can see, the kind of, as you can imagine, the kind of accuracy, the kind of uh, legitimacy it will bring into the ICO investing, right? And so basically they, the regulators are going to review the ICO before we all can review it on the channel or on the website, right? So. A review by the regulator itself. Nothing, nothing makes it more legit than that. So that's the ICO portal. And when it comes to investors, the investors have been defined into four different categories. The first category would be the institution investors. First consists of the institutional investors here or an ultra net worth clan. The second group, which will be defined as retail investors, something like we do into ICO investing, right? And the third is consists of the venture capitalist private equity funds and the last group comp comprises of retail investors but their investment is capped below nine thousand dollars so maybe so there are two kinds of retail investors they have put across one is retail investors who are going to be investing more than 2.1 million dollars the other retail investors which are the, with the last segment which is which are going to be investing more than less than 9,000 US dollar. Also, one of the things that I noticed uh, when it comes to taxation is that they are only going to be imposing about 15% of tax on the gains from the digital tokens and cryptocurrency. That's only 15%. 
and also for the general investors for the small investor that has been exempted as well so it looks like to me that thailand has really come up with a very good ico investing rules not only for the investors but also for all the companies the next one i want to share is a john cradell so john cradell is a famous columnist for the new york post and he has been saying i mean he made this statement about 4 years back that bitcoin is going to zero and he wrote an article recently once again that why bitcoin may be soon worth nothing and his argument is very simple his argument is that bitcoin is not backed by anything so here is what he said that i use the term worth nothing worth cautiously because bitcoin is really worth nothing since it is backed by nothing or no one it is a confidence game that that has value only because people are convincing other people that it's worth something got it ponzi scheme confidence game fraud and his opinion is that bitcoin is going to zero one of the thing that i really want to mention here i sometimes i really wonder whether when these columnists when this famous columnist and famous author actually write something about that about bitcoin is going to be dying uh and something that it is not by backed by anything which is quite true but it is backed by the trust in the math and in this in the whole system now what i really wonder is are they also educated on what is dollar backed by because if they don't understand dollar how really dollar works then really it is really sad to know because they are famous author and they should definitely know what is the dollar or us dollar backed by or any fiat currency is backed by and simple answer we all know that it is all backed by nothing and overall this is a centralized system whereas bitcoin is backed by nothing but it's a decentralized system and a decentralized system any currency is backed by trust in the math and this is something that this author has missed out on and there have been many um, criticism on that so that's all i have for you right now thank you so much for watching i would definitely want to hear your opinion on thailand's rules and laws for the ico investors and for the ico investing company do you think these kind of rules are is something that all the other countries are also going to follow up and also do you think this kind of rules and regulations will reduce the number of ico scams give this video a like or a dislike share your opinion in the comment box below i'll see you next time take care